is a this is one that can get you a lot of mileage, but it's a little difficult. It's something that uh, helped me out a ton in my college career, a ton. Filled me out of a lot of positions. But again, it takes a little bit of skill and timing, the right timing. All right. It basically is rolling underneath when you're on your knees. Okay? So let's say, and a lot of times you saw that probably in these scrambles where he was getting all three quarters of the way around me. Okay? What I do is I just open my leg and I shoot a high crotch on my own leg. Does that sound about right? Actually, I shoot a, a double high crotch. Here. Okay? And again, we're in a scramble. There's no, you know, I'm not in the clear, but it, at least it, the imminent two is not there yet. Hey guys, we'll take a water break after. Get back out here. Hey, let's go. Love you like a brother, but come on. We'll take a water break as soon as we break. All right, hop on. So he's got me here. All right, that's two. Good move, right? You like that? Sorry, I got lazy. All right. All right, so let's say you got a front headlock. He pulls me. And what I like to do is I like to circle, 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 circle. He gets all the way around. Okay. You know, there's a bit of like jujitsu in this one, you know? You know what I'm saying? You know that one where you go underneath and you, you work your way out? I don't know. I watch UFC and I saw, see guys doing I watch UFC and I see a lot of times guys could you hit this move, by the way. You know, when they're going for that... Rear naked choke, you know, they're here, they're there. Hey, come on, come on. Now, you see that one right there? That was one where I was a little crowded. What I do is I just use my feet to improvise on that one. So let's say he's got me a little crowded. I'm not in the right position to shoot a high crotch on myself. I'll just, what really worked for me was just being able to roll underneath towards him. If I roll forward, he's just going to gather and score. But if I get here and I get a little crowded here, I'm going to just take my whatever I have and just throw them off. You understand? That gives me enough gap to work my way out of things. This works okay too when he, you know, let's say he takes a single leg, works me down, limps his, I got a, yes, boom. All right, so again, say I got like a uh, whizzer here, he limps out of it. Let's go real slow, real slow, extremely slow. Here, 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 here. Boom. You understand? Is this, you know, do I plan this? No. I don't say, oh, okay, I'm going to I'm going to get, let this guy get a single, and I'm going to let him get my leg and get out of position, and me be on all fours. This is what it looks like, guys. I wait. Boom. Right there. And so, rule of thumb. Anytime someone's got to cover you, unless they throw you or inside trip you or foot sweep you, or even a foot sweep, what do they have to do? What's the word? They have to cover you, and what are they giving up? they got to reach. What are they giving up? Their legs. So it's a weird concept, but they're giving up their legs. Oh, he shoots. He takes me down. Not yet, not yet. Look. Exposed. So in a match, you know, I mean, I'd, like to, I'd like to roll underneath, but he's just kind of pressuring me down. Ah, ah, fight, fight. You understand? Yeah. Uh, uh, pushes me, just throws me right down, muscles me right to the mat. I might work my way out, but he still gets on top. Boom, switch. Wrestle, go.
Good. Got it. So try that technique. It may be a little difficult. Give a high crotch on yourself when he goes to cover. Ready? 